Hi everyone, welcome back to episode two of Behind the Desk with Alan and Greg. Uh, today we're gonna to cover some training shoes, um, specifically kind of what most new members tend to join with. Should you get a specific CrossFit training shoe and are there any specialist shoes that you may be looking to purchase in the future? So first of all, we're going to dive into the classic kind of running shoe and Greg's going to break that down for us and give the kind of pros and cons of the running shoe. Yeah, cool. So running shoes, uh, pretty standard like kind of training shoe that you might see. Um, soft and flexible, soft sole, grippy on the bottom, nice and light on the top. Uh, great specifically for, for running, I think, yeah. you know, it's what they're designed for. Uh, Nike are very good running shoes. Uh, perhaps not the best for CrossFit though, that would be fair to say. Yeah, um, like you said, they, they are soft and we like mm. a, a relatively stable platform. Yeah. But, um, for the new person coming in, it's, it's generally what we tend to see mm. them wearing. So yeah. um, what are the kind of cons to, to kind of like a, a specific running training for CrossFit? Well, yeah, like designed specifically for running. So like I said, very soft, very flexible on the sole. So you can see I can like fold that in half. And then laterally, so side to side, very flexible as well. So when we're doing things like box jumps and weightlifting complexes, feet's gonna move about and they're perhaps unstable or not as stable as a kind of CrossFit specific shoe that we'll come to in a minute. Um, so kind of have the difficulties there. Um, for me, I think the big thing would be the weightlifting complexes, you know, especially uh, when, you, when you're throwing things like cleans and snatches into a workout along with other, other movements, um, yeah, perhaps not yeah. as stable. You might find you're a bit wobbly, especially in the kind of heavy, heavy catches, Yeah, I think. Um, and one thing you do tend to see with a kind of classic run trainer is this kind of drop off from kind of back to front. Um, we, we see a raised heel that is obviously designed to help absorb some of the impact when we do run. But what we tend to find in CrossFit is that it kind of tilts our athletes a little bit forward. We tend to see them on their toes a little bit. Mm. So like Greg's saying, stability wise, we don't have a nice kind of flat, kind of solid surface mm. for the athlete to be able to, to kind of push off. And like Greg's saying, weightlifting complexes, we need a nice stable platform and that should be your foundation. So mm. um, great for running, great just to get yourself started, but we think there was obviously a better solution and that's yeah. why certain brands have developed a specific trainer. And yeah, that's what great. we're gonna dive into next. So Alan's fresh, brand new uh, Reebok Nanos, right out of the box. Good smell, man, <laughs> fresh, fresh. Yeah, yeah this, is a, this is a CrossFit specific shoe, so designed specifically for, for CrossFitters. You get Reeboks, kind of the biggest name, obviously sponsored the CrossFit Games. Um, Nike do them, New Balance have got them, I think Under Armour has brought a pair out, right, it's a kind of cross training right, yeah. shoe. Designed specifically for the sport that we do. A couple of things about them, they're very, very flat on the sole, as you can see, so compared to the, the running shoe, which is a bit kind of grippier from different sorts of surfaces, this is really flat, um, not very flexible at all, really. They flex about the toes, but not so much at the back, so that's gonna give us good stability for weightlifting. They're very light in the uppers, they're broad at the front, and they've got things, special features like kind of protection around the toes for doing burpees so you don't burn through the shoes, and then protection on the inside for doing rope climbs so you don't kind of tear the sole off. Um, yeah, so designed specifically for CrossFit, um, just a really good all-round shoe and a worthwhile Upgrade, I think. Yeah. You know, if, if you've got the cash to, to get them and you're looking for a shoe, definitely get a, a kind of CrossFit specific one. Yeah, like for me, that would be kind of the first person mm. purchase that I recommend to any kind of new members is to get yourself a good pair of kind of CrossFit style trainers. Um, like you said, we have the Namino on show, but mm. there is the Nike Metcon, the Under Armour, the New Balances. Mm. There are quite a few companies out there doing them. Um, like Greg said, a lot of built-in features specifically mm. to help you with your kind of CrossFit style training. And then obviously, most people are paying a, a lot of money to come in and yeah. do CrossFit. So you want to set yourself up to, mm. to be able to get the most out of your session so yeah. um, definitely would be my number one recommendation mm. on purchase for um, yeah. a, a member looking for a kind of upgrade on mm. maybe their kind of general running training yeah. that they've come in. I mean you don't need to get the most the, the most brand new ones like Reebok are still doing their older styles and, and yeah. you'll, you'll find uh, you'll find the Nike the Nike brand ones at the, the outlet store you know yeah. Uh, even kind of the, the older models yeah. for, for cheap so it's very much personal preference like we, we talked earlier I like um, 
I like the nanos because they're they're wider at the, at the toes for me. But you know, some people like the metco. The, yeah, they make metcons because they yeah. Um, yeah. they fit better. So it's also yeah. a color thing. Like, yeah. Oh yeah. If you want the style, well, you got to match your outfit. Yeah. You know, exactly. You got a color I mean, code, so. I have certain color trainers for yeah. certain days. Exactly. And, uh, exactly. It's a very expensive yeah. hobby. This crossfit thing. So uh, special a specialist shoe. Yeah. So from uh, here we're progressing on to a very specialist shoe. We have a weightlifting, uh, specifically the Adidas Adi Power. Um, like Greg said, we we have a little bit of flex on our toe, but these are barely going to rotate. We also have a really solid platform. Um, the heel is raised from back to front, okay? But what that does is it generally allows the athlete to be in a more upright position um, when they're performing things like squats and cleans and snatches and stuff. So uh, there's a mobility benefit to this. So if you're an individual who struggles with mobility, getting yourself a pair of lifters are a big uh, tick in the box. It's definitely gonna help with those type of movements. Uh, and like I was saying, just, just a really good, solid, solid shoe that, um, they're kind of indestructible. These are about four or five years old. They've been around for a long time. I've been wearing them a lot. Um, can I like? Can I wear them for anything else, or is it just for weightlifting? Uh, generally, just for weightlifting. There will be certain wads workouts yeah. that you could get away with wearing them from, but they're like I said, they're a specialist shoe. They yeah. are for weightlifting. So, I mean, if you're just starting out a weightlifting gym and you're you're watching this, then yeah. thanks for watching. But um, yeah, this would be your number one purchase. Then, uh, yeah. like we recommend the CrossFit trainer, this yeah. would be your number one purchase if you're solely looking at weightlifting. Um, so like. Nanos, uh, these are quite comfortable. There's a lot of space around the toes. Just looking at them, they're quite narrow. Yeah. Like how how should they fit? Should they fit like a trainer, or should they? These should be a lot tighter. Yeah. Um, like for me, when I've got these on, like I am lifting close to maximal yeah. loads. Um, so you don't want your feet to move at all, then, really. We we want our foot to feel extremely snug mm. inside the trainer or inside the weightlifting shoe. We want compression there, creating more stability around the athlete's foot and ankle, so that we can build a good strong foundation from the ground up. Mm -hmm. um, like I said, I'm using these specifically when I'm trying to get stronger in my squats, which mm. should be all the time for me because I'm not very good. <laughs> um, yeah, so, and Olympic lifts. These are your go-to shoes. Um, Workout-wise, you can get away with some workouts, but not that often. So a very yeah. specialist shoe. So um, you couldn't wear that for like a running workout as well though? No, no like I said, we've only got a small yeah. uh, kind of bending around the toe. It's not going to be comfortable for you to run in. So um, these are, these are called on a special occasions. Mm -hmm. um, these are, yeah, these are Valentine's Day shoes. Mm -hmm. yeah. all, all the goods come out. So, um, like, worthwhile purchase if you're getting kind of more into Olympic weightlifting or you've got maybe a, a mobility issue that you think's holding you back. Yeah. Around with the ankles, yeah. maybe. Ankle mobility, yeah. again, like we said, that more upright torso position is definitely going to benefit athletes. Because mm. um, sometimes we see the athlete is not the issue of actually, hey, I'm not strong enough to lift this weight. They're actually mm. positionally just compromised. Mm. So if we can get them into a better position by something like a shoe, obviously with a bit of mobility work on the side, um, can can often see those athletes push through plateaus and actually um, get more out of their training. Cool. Well, that's good to know. Cool. So a really specialist shoe um, for, for later on. CrossFit specific type shoe, kind so of first everyday. purchase, everyday yeah. shoe, yeah. Um, if you can afford them and then your, your running shoe, if you're big into running. Yep. And that's, that's what it's about. Cool, all right. Sounds good. Awesome. So, okay guys, if you've got any questions about shoes or anything, like feel free to drop us a comment below. Yeah, I think we've um, tried most of the pairs, haven't we? So, yeah, yeah, we've uh, had them all. So. All the coaches, we've definitely mm. probably had them or know someone who's had them. So yeah. we'll give you some feedback. And again, um, it will be a personal preference thing, mm. but um, don't be afraid to drop us a wee question if you have any.